But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. <laughs> Hey guys, it's not Chris Fix, Shane's Workshop, and today what we're going to be doing is changing the brakes, or brake disc and brake pads on an SMaker K12 2009. So let's get the car jacked up and let's get started. Okay, so there's the car supported, supported with the trolley jack and supported with axle stands. Right, if you don't know how to put a car upright properly, just take a day guys and get this done if this is your first time. Right, now to get the wheels off. Right, first thing that I always do, this is be a T30. Put it in. There we go. Quite easy. Sometimes they get stuck, so it's always the first thing I always do because there's nothing worse than trying to get these off first. Right. Next thing we're going to do is for all right let me see hold on i'll just zoom out here all right so it's going to be a th all right, 13 mil socket on the there and a 15 mil open spanner here all right so that's a setup where you want you hold the 15 and you take it off of the 13. Right, and the same idea down here. 13 mil on here, 15 here. Right, okay, with both of them off, what we do now is just wiggle the caliper off. Like so, what I'm going to do is hang it up there with a bit of a hook. Right, so there it's hanging up on a hook, and as you can see, there's no stress whatsoever on the brake line. Next thing is, we need 18 mil uh, socket onto here and down on the here, and that's to take this carrier off. Okay. Um, my mistake, it's uh, 17 mil for this. This is uh, to take the carrier off. So that's a 17 mil. So we'll take the top one off. Okay, so here's the bottom one. Just put a bit of jungle juice on it. Bang this on it. It's quite tight, this one, so let's see. It's gonna play ball. Right, take that one. Right, there we go. That's 
to carry her off. And now the bolt is stuck inside this. So get that. Get this. And head it bank through. That gets it off. Okay, next thing we're going to do is take, take this off. There we go, that's that off. I'm going to strip all this down, take the pads off, and take the sliders out. Need to worry about the pods because I've got brand new pods that are going on. But as you can see, these pods are actually near enough brand new. I think it was I think these are Bramble pods, but an, an old cheap uh, disc. So what's going on next is Bramble brake pads and discs, but first of all I'm going to dress all of this here up here because, and then I'm going to grease all this, but as you can see it's starting to rain so I better get all my tools put away and just take out whatever I need to do first. Okay, that's the face dressed. What we have to do now is you take your hardware out, if you don't get hardware with your uh, with your brakes, mine's is Bramble, so it should have them, but it wouldn't surprise me if it didn't. So I haven't checked it, but take these off, you just pull, take it off. And what you want to do is you want to clean along here, and if you don't get new ones of these, new ones of these, clean these as well. Hey, right, so I'll just give these a quick dressing. Okay, right, to put the, the guides on, like that. What you've got is two tabs, two tabs there and there. Just make sure that they go in and to the inside. So push them on and that's them and take them off obviously you just pull them here pull it from here so that's the guides in next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the piston in okay now make sure before you push the piston in you take the lid off the Brake fluid reservoir. Sure when you're doing doing this you don't put any pressure on the brake. Alright. The brake pipe and just wind it back till it's flush. That's it. As you can see the, the brake fluid has risen, but what I do now is put the lid straight back on. Reason being is brake fluid is hydroscopic meaning it sucks in water it just loves to absorb water and the water doesn't compress so your brakes will feel spongy okay right the next thing that I do is put the guides back in what I try and do is clean around the edge of the guide so when the rubber goes on it's got a nice clean 
edge to go over. There's one I did when it came off, and there's one of still the dress. So, the one I've dressed, what I'll do now is rubber grease. the oil side and the inside of the bag. need to go mantle on this here just just like that two fingers because they can be a nightmare to get out right the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm right next thing I go on is the carrier next thing brake pods I've already put the back one in Put them in. Nice clean fingers. Nice clean fingers. What you do? Put it in at an angle. Turn. Push. Next thing is caliper. These two bolts here are sliders. Go to the inside. Get your two nuts that you've been provided with. Hope this volume's okay because I've got it on charge and I can't use a mic anymore. There's that in. Oh, just don't let that turn. One in the bottom. Now, I think, yes, uh, it's a 13 mil. All right, 13 millimeter. Uh, 13 mil goes on the back, and 15 mil holds this.
top. Let's give this a wee nip up. Don't need to go mad on it. That's fine. That's fine. What I want to do now is go in and press on the brakes. Alright, well, that's basically it for today. I'm going to put the wheel back on, have a cup of tea, and then we'll recap all what we've done here. Okay? Um, Kanuchi, well, right, here I am, back at HQ. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video, and I've had loads of subscribers saying oh have you any merch you know I've, I've, I've had about 10 people saying have you any merch have you any merch but uh today's your lucky day because today we'll have a new t-shirt for ian's workshop made up it is uh -da! and also a mug ian's workshop and today being saturday it's wine night and uh, i can't be decided this is a late July or early August. Mm. That's late July 2021. I can taste the sunshine in it. Well, anyway, thanks for watching the video. And uh, I hope you enjoy my merch. Because you know you will want to buy it. And please visit my own Amazon store. Just uh, do it. Thank you. Do it. Do it. Come on, kill me. I'm here. The fuck away off.